Welcome to EZLIM Planning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at the topic uh, Organic Chemistry 2 and today we are starting on alkanoic acids. We completed on alcohols so you can check out the videos on that and see how alcohols, uh, the nomenclature, the preparation and some of the properties of alcohols. So today we are going to look at some uh, alkanoic acids, their nomenclature, and we're going to practice how to show uh, the nomenclature of the acid. So alkanoic acids or carbos carboxylic acids, this is uh, the other name of the alkanoic acids, they usually form a homologous series with the formula, you can see the formula. And you notice it has two oxygen atoms in its structure. And the formula can also be written as that. It can also be written as that with a carbon, in which case the value of N is the number of carbons beginning from one. So the members from each other differ by addition of a CH2. And their functional group is that, which is attached to the alkyl group. So you notice like in qualitative analysis, we use this uh, to show uh, a carboxylic acid or presence of a carboxylic acid. So this is the basic unit. Uh, remember this is a double board and then this is attached now to the R or the alkyl part. So when you look at the nomenclature of the acid, it's an alkane. When you look at an alkane that ends with an E, we are going to replace it with oic. So if I had um, like the first uh, uh, like the first member in the series is methane, the alkane. So we will change the e and becomes oic, so it will become methanoic. Methanoic acid. So that's how we change the e to oic. So let's draw the structure of methanoic acid. So you present the uh, open structure, condensed and skeleton where possible. So methanoic acid, so it is just going to have one carbon. So it's going to be like that. If you count the number of boards, we are missing one board, so we put it. So when, when we condense this, it becomes like this doesn't have a skeletal because it's made up of just one carbon. So next is ethanoic acid. This has two carbon. So we can put the unit on the last carbon. Remember this carbon is already fully bonded, so always be careful with this. You have a tendency to introduce an hydrogen at the bottom. Please don't so do so. So if we condense this becomes a CH2, COH. So also we do not have the skeletal because it's just two carbon uh, atoms. Uh, let's look at propanoic acid. So this has three carbon atoms. So we we'll put the OOOH here. So you can see how it becomes. So if you condense it, it becomes CH3. Uh, CH2, this was three. And then COH. If you are to represent by skeletal, it, it means we have a carbon here, a carbon here, and a carbon here. And in the last carbon, this is where we have oxygen, OH. So this is how it is. Let me draw it better so that you can see. So we have a carbon here, a carbon here, and a carbon here. So in the third carbon, we introduced a double board and an OH. And then uh, we go to butanoic acid. So this has four carbons. So 
to oxygen and OH. So when you condense it, it becomes CH3, CH2, CH2, COH. So if you were to represent in skeletal, it would be like this. So there's first carbon, second, third, and then fourth. So you put the double bond here and OH at the bottom. So then propanoic acid or pentanoic acid with five carbons. So hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. So if you condense it, it becomes CH3, CH2, 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 and COOH. So this becomes five. So one, two, three, four, five. So and then on the last one, we introduce the double bond and the OH. So you can proceed to work out the others that is the hexanoic, heptanoic, octanoic, and nonoic, nonoic uh, acids on your own so that you can see how that happens. So next, you're going to look at naming. So when it comes to naming alkanoic acids, we use the same rules we were using with alkenes and alkenes. So every time we are naming, we have to prefer the COOH group or the basic unit. Uh, it's the one that is given preference. So the largest chain is going to be the one that contains this uh, group. And then instead of N, we end with OIC. And then you can also specify where the OIC when you have more than one uh, basic unit in a system, especially like in esterification, you see that later. In polymerization, you can have more than one. So we just indicate where they are positioned. So let's look at a few examples uh, of naming the alkanoic acids so that we can review those rules. So when you look at this structure, you can see we have a branch at carbon, this carbon. So it's made up of two carbon. This is the main unit or the parent name. The parent name is made up of two carbons. So that means that is an ethan. And then we have now the oic part, which is that carbon number. So when you start numbering, you start with one, two. So we are going to say we have a chloro. So we have chloro at carbon number two, and then we will call it ethan. And then we have the oic at carbon number one, so it becomes ethan one oic. And then we have this. So the first thing is to identify the parent, uh, the parent chain. So the parent chain is the one that has the, the basic unit. So this becomes it. So you start numbering from this side one, two, three. So when you start numbering for that side, you can see there is a branch of methyl at carbon number two. So you call it two methyl. And this is propanoic. So it is propan. And the oic is at carbon number one. So propan one oic acid. And then also we look at this one. So this is going to be the longest chain. So you start numbering from here, one, two, three, four. So we have a chloro at carbon number three and a bromo at carbon number four. So bromo comes first alphabetically, so it becomes four, bromo, three, chloro, um, butane, because there are four, there are four carbons, butane, one, oic acid. And then finally, we have one that has two uh, oics. So this has two carbons. So that tells you it's ethan. So it becomes ethan. We have 
uh, one, the auric at carbon number one, and another one at carbon number two, then dioic acid. Thank you.